So Bonnie and Jella are two common brush-tailed possums. They came in to us about five weeks ago. And the reason they came in is because Bonnie had a big wound on one of her legs and also one of her eyes. When we were examining her um, via an x-ray, we saw that there were three air rifle pellets in her and one had actually shattered her front leg. Luckily for her, that one had healed over, but the eye and the leg injury still needed a fair bit of work. So the eye had to be removed or what was left of the eye. It was a really old injury and she'd been living really fine without that eye. So we just had to remove what was left. And then over several weeks, we had to just apply creams and different medications to help that leg heal over and different medications we were using were other pain relief and antibiotics on top of the topical creams. So when Jella came in, she was just a little joey in pouch and now she's a really confident back rider. She sits on mum's back, she comes off of mum's back to nibble on food, she's gaining weight. I'm really, really happy with her progress. So both are cleared for release and um, there are still two pellets in mum's body. So one was removed just because it was sitting right under the skin and there was a little bit of concern that it could cause a bit of a rubbing issue down the track. Um, one is embedded kind of within the pelvis, so that one we left alone and the other one actually shattered in the front leg that it broke. So there's all little fragments still throughout the front leg, but I don't anticipate either of those causing an ongoing issue for Bonnie. In the last um, several weeks or the last couple of months, we've seen a lot of animals coming in with air rifle pellets in them, ranging from several different bird species, possums, reptiles, like lots of big monitors um, and some smaller lizards as well. So something people can do to help is get in contact with Crime Stoppers if you're seeing any evidence or any suspicious behaviour around wildlife. Definitely contact Crime Stoppers and you can report anonymously, which is really important to know as well. Hopefully our partnership with Crime Stoppers Queensland will help protect more of our wildlife and you can contact them on 1800 333 000.